Hi everyone, my name is Helen and I'm currently an honour student, tutor and PSF member here at the Department of Psychology. After my three years of undergraduate studies here at UJ, I'm going to share a little bit about my journey, some mistakes I made along the way, as well as some useful tips that might make the late nights and hard work a little bit more bearable for you. Coming from a predominantly face-to-face -face lecturing style, the transition to online modes of learning was met with a few ups and downs. I'm going to share with you two mistakes that I made along the way. The first mistake was that of not adhering to a proper schedule. I forgot to set myself a proper routine. From this I learned the importance of diarising important dates, allocating enough time for tutorials, lectures and note making, as well as allocating enough time to leisure with family and friends. By creating an equal balance between work and play, I was happier, I was healthier and I was able to cope with the workload a lot more. The second mistake that I made was not attending enough tutorials and lectures. I thought that because I was at home, I could cope with the workload by myself. But I forgot that due to the online nature of online learning, you literally have access to a wealth of knowledge at your fingertips from your lecturers and your tutors. So from this, I would like you to try and stay connected and ask questions so the first tip I would say is find a study method that suits you. Studying is not a one-size-fits-all approach. So these can include things like note making, mind mapping or other memory techniques such as mnemonics. So whether you learn visually through sound or you learn with your body movements or reading or writing, finding the te technique that best suits you is most important because you get the best exam results. Secondly, ask. The most important thing to do is to stay in contact with your lecturers and tutors. When you're uncertain about a certain topic, reach out to your tutors. I know that with my students in the social psychology module, I'm more than happy to have a chat with any content. So on this note, I'd like you to remember that in this unique digitally driven society, no man is an island. And sometimes we can feel alone when we are not face to face with people. Stay connected. My third tip to you is to be present. Learning is an active process. Engage with the material, make it relatable, and don't just learn for learning's sake. Lastly, be kind to yourself. Remember that you are only human. When I'm feeling overwhelmed and maybe even underprepared for exams, I focus on the step in front of me instead of the whole staircase. So best of luck for your exams. If there's anything that you take out of the advice that I give to you today, please remember to control, alt, delete. Control your time, alter the way you think about the coursework and delete any uncertainty by staying in contact. Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy Matutu and I'm currently an honors student as well as a member of uh, the Psychology Student Forum at UJ. And I'm just here to give you guys some tips and advice on exam preparation because it is a tough time and often people stress during this time, but it's not a time to stress, it's just a time to uh, get serious, get your focus up and do what needs to be done. Um, one of the big problems that I've had is procrastination. I'm not here to tell you to stop procrastinating because honestly I still do it sometimes but just plan your day well and um, set your time in a way that even if you do procrastinate you can still always finish ahead so let's say you have an exam in a month's time try finish your work at least a week or two before so that you still have time to revise so therefore even if you do fall behind that schedule you still have uh, additional time left over uh, you should also be, be very wary of the online exams because the lecturers can see your activity on Blackboard and you can't just cheat, they can see that. You can't just copy an answer online and then paste it on your computer because it shows how long it takes you to answer a question. As previously mentioned, these exams are a bit more applied so keep your sentences simple and straight to the point. So keep an idea, a point per sentence and an idea per paragraph. That way it's easier for your lecturer to read and um, it's easier for them to understand. 
following that, just remember while you plan your day and take your time, don't overdo it and leave time to do stuff you enjoy. Maybe if you like reading or exercising, always have time for that because uh, exam times can be stressful and they weigh down on you. So if you have some time to do what you enjoy, it's always good and helpful. And you must remember that your lecturers and tutors are here for your assistance. Although keep in mind that you should be timely and consult with them during their consultation times, but they want the best for you and we all do. So take advantage of that. You can consult your lecturers, you can consult your tutors. Not only will they help you, but you also build a relationship with them, which is good moving forward. And always remember, the prescribed work in your textbook is very helpful. So do the activities in your textbook because some of the psychological concepts can be abstract and hard to understand. The case studies will help you because they give real world examples which uh, give you a better understanding of it as well as the activities at the end of chapters and topics which highlight the most important aspects of the topic at hand and that can all help you in preparation for your exams. Good luck everybody and I wish you the best.